Welcome to Computer Tech TV. My name is Rick Arder and today I'll be doing an unboxing and product overview on the Thermalrite Archon CPU cooler. Okay, at first you're going to look at the outside of the box here. And you're going to notice really the only thing you see is the Thermalrite logo and Archon CPU cooler and then the website. This is typical of Thermalrite. They basically just do a plain brown box. Uh, they pack them really good. I've never had anything come from Thermalrite or any other company that ships something from Thermalrite that was damaged. They have a very good uh, structure to their boxes and the way they pack things. Uh, and there's no uh, you know, pictures or anything on the outside, just plain brown box here. Now let's open this up. And on the top you're going to see Thermalrite case badge. And you have your assembly package list here which basically just tells you what's inside and how many of each thing. So you can do a little inventory to make sure you have all your parts. This is the uh, installation guide for your Intel. And Intel gets a pressure valve adjustment, uh, which actually you can add up to 40 to 70 pounds of additional pressure on top of what the uh, mounting system already adds to get additional pressure to cool your CPU. And here is the AMD installation guide. Very simple directions. They have amazing uh, the way that they mount. Really good mounting systems. Uh, take this off here. See we have one of their 140 millimeter fans. This is a 1300 RPM PWM very silent fan but pushes a good amount of air since it's a 140 millimeter fan. Another thing to note, uh, it's the color scheme and the uh, has a round housing instead of a square housing and also uh, it mounts on a 120 millimeter fan location so that's always nice. Our foam here, this right here is going to be your accessories and your mounting brackets. Open those up really quick. See here you got Intel, the AMD mount, which is a lot simpler and doesn't have the pressure valve adjustment. Here's your pressure valve adjustment for the Intel brackets. And you have eight anti vibration mounts. And they also include four fan clips. Oh, drop one of the anti vibration strips. Four fan clips. Chill Factor 3 thermal paste. Good enough for quite a few applications. You have your uh, pressure valve adjustment wrench. Which something to note is you want to adjust it before you put the fan on because I've no noticed that it's really hard to get the wrench in there if you have the fan or fans already mounted. And this cooler, as you can probably already tell, is ready for push pull configuration. And you have four of these anti vibration strips if you prefer to use these instead of the uh, other ones that they have here. Now moving on to the best part. Let's take this beast out of here. And like I said, they pack these things really good. Right, let's take this out. This is what they call a uh, armor style heat sink thin array. It's all copper, six heat pipes. And they are spread out to where they get maximum cooling. And the uh, Heat dissipation area on this is 150 by 125 millimeters, so that's why they include the 140 millimeter fan. This is actually kind of the uh, newer, more evolved version of the uh, Venomous X and the Thermalrite Ultra 120 Extreme. It's just basically a larger version to accommodate newer 140 millimeter fans, since that is the uh, new trend now is to have larger fans running at a slower RPM, pushing the same amount of airflow, if not more, and more. Uh, static pressure which is always good. And then here's your base here. Very very flat mirror finish. This is all nickel plated. If you guys are wondering I had a question before 
uh, about someone said, I don't see any copper. Well, it's copper, but it's nickel-plated so that over the years and all the times you take it out and mess with it, it's not going to mess up the finish. Because I know I've had coolers that have copper heat, pipe, copper heat pipes, excuse me, and uh, after several months of, you know, getting some fingerprints on them and cleaning them up and stuff like that, they'll actually start to uh, corrode a little bit and get discolored, you know, being copper untreated. So they give it a nice nickel plating and, uh, you know, it looks amazing. So uh, if you guys are interested in more on this, I am going to do a full review and temperature test with this CPU cooler with the stock... Um, TY 140 140 millimeter case fan here. Well, I guess it's a CPU cooler fan as well. And I also have another one of these. I'll do this in a single and a push pull configuration, as well as test out two uh, other push pull fans and a Scythe Ultra Cos 130 CFM uh, 120 by 38 millimeter fan. I'm going to do all those tests. So if you're interested in that, please uh, stay tuned. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please leave a comment and thumbs up this video if you were interested and you liked it. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day.